Why don't you do the things you know you should be doing? It's future me's problem hashtag X200B. Because it can wait until tomorrow. And then the day after tomorrow. But on the weekend I'll do it. I'm afraid I'm not capable and my fear of failure keeps me from even trying. Procrastination is one hell of a drug. Experiential avoidance. Because being comfortable is easier than taking risks. And I've somehow become comfortable with my mediocrity. Comfortably numb. I'm lazy. I've seen the end results and the investment isn't worth the payoff. Pessimistic perfectionist, there is no point to try as it can't be perfect. I've never related to anything more in my life. Reddit. Laziness. I am a very lazy procrastinator. The kind of guy who writes the paper for school the night before it's due even when I knew about three weeks ago. The problem was, I always did decently at school and it just sort of stuck with me as a bad habit. A friend of mine cured me of this. Dumb as a sack of hammers, but hardworking as all hell. At almost 30 years old, he's a millionaire and I'm only just sorting my shit out. What cured you of it exactly? Just seeing his hard work pay off? Jealousy is a hell of a motivator. Checks body up this doesn't apply to me. Anxiety. Anxiety mixed with depression. I'm pooping at work RN. Hashtag penis. I have this tattooed on my scrotum. Username checks out. Everyone in this thread needs to give themselves more credit. Life is exhausting, and our jobs and our society drain every meaningful ounce of energy from us on a daily basis. Every day we get up, get ready, sit in traffic, work in drab offices for the entire day, sit in traffic, take care of kids, run errands. And then what? We've got an hour left at the end of the day. I'm done. I just need to rest. I'm not going to take a class or clean up the house or have sex with my wife. I'm going to stare at the TV until I pass out, because that's literally all I have left for myself at the end of the day. Then we have the weekend. Yay. Two days to recover, half of which is spent running errands and doing the shit we needed to do during the week. Then by Sunday afternoon we're getting ready for the week again. We've been born into a shitty social contract. The 40-hour work week is bullshit. No meaningful maternity leave is bullshit. Being stuck to a job because of health insurance is bullshit. Being expected to check your phone outside of office hours is bullshit. Three weeks of paid vacation a year is bullshit. Counting sick days is bullshit. Don't be so hard on yourselves people. I fear success and change. I should be looking for a full-time job so I can get my own place. Because I'm petrified of failure and the reprimand that I assume will come with it. Of course it never will come, and is just a product of an abusive upbringing that haunts me every day. Oh. Oh. This resonated with me way too much. Shit. I have no desire to do anything because depression. Since I just had lunch, I should brush my teeth. But. Hmm. Maybe I could skip it for now because in about an hour I'm going to have a snack anyway. Tomorrow I'm going to clean my room. Gets up late and proceeds to browse the internet. Clock hits 5 p.m. This is no time for cleaning the room. Tomorrow I'll do it for sure. I bet my mother sibling will husband girlfriend whatever person I live with thinks I'm a burden. They're probably better off without me. I should go to bed because it takes some time until I start to sleep, I don't want to duck up my sleeping schedule again, and it's already pretty late, yeah, I could probably do with 6 hours of sleep instead of 7. One hour later. Just 20 minutes more won't be a problem. After all, What's the difference between 6 o'clock and 5.40? Remembers embarrassing moment that happened 10 years ago. Holy shit, I can't believe I did that. What a fucking idiot. Ran out of ducks. Seriously, I just don't ducking care. Because I got high. Because I got high. Because I got hit 5. La da 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 da. Listen here pal. I already make some questionable decisions in my life. I don't need you questioning those decisions too. D-E-P-R-E-S-S-I-O-N it's a hell of a drug. God damn it it's just so hard. I should be doing homework, but I need to watch my kids. 
If I take my eyes off of them for a second it feels like I'm going to regret it. By the time they go to sleep I'm just so tired I don't have the energy to do it. Hopefully I pass this semester, so I can get my degree. Being honest with myself, I should have went to school a decade ago. Better late than never I suppose. I'm trying to get my degree in my 30s and have no kids. I can't imagine trying to get through Calc 3HW with kids around. I wish you the best. There's no way to know what I should be doing. Who's to say that if I go to work one day I don't trigger a chain of events that kicks off the end of the world? If I just float here in my room, then I won't end the world. But what if you floating in your room triggers a chain of events that kicks off the end of the world? Exactly. We should just prioritize ending the world. ADHD can be infer. This is what I was looking for. I don't know how to start. I know I'm wasting very precious time but I feel so overwhelmed. I keep wishing for some kind of mentor to just sort of point me in a direction, and until I find one I'm afraid I'll continue going in circles. Because I'm comfortable enough now and if I go for a better job then I'm just going to take that job away from someone who might not be as comfortable as me. First world e wholesome. Too tired burnt doing other things I should be doing. Too much on my plate I guess. Fear of failure. Lack of purpose or any sense of joy. Asking what's the point when I feel like I may end my life at some point soon. Overwhelming financial stress, $100 makes or breaks my life, basically crippling depression. Because my mind is busy trying not to kill itself. Depression anxiety and not enough money. Depression. I have no more left to give. I'm a high school teacher, third year, and this one is the worst so far. It is taking every ounce of life and joy from me. I have such a backlog of grading paperwork planning that even taking work home and devoting personal time to it never feels like it's chipping away enough to make a difference. I am doing my best to write strong letters of recommendation for my college-bound students. I have to give so much time, energy, and emotion to this work and these kids, and am completely depleted. I've lost hope that it would ever get better and I constantly feel guilty that my best isn't enough. I just can't do it anymore. If you read this, thanks. Frick this post, we'll go do it right now just because of this, but when I come back there will be a well-worded angry message directed at this post. I'm scrolling through Reddit instead. I know this is unproductive but for some reason I almost feel like I'll mess up less by doing this than by doing what I'm actually supposed to be doing. Because I'm lazy, unmotivated, riddled with anxiety, and a lot of the time I don't see the point. Depression. Depression is a bitch. Behavioral psychology degree here. I think I can answer this. In some branches of applied behavior analysis, we classify behavior as low probability, things you are not likely to do, and high probability, things you are likely to do. Usually behavior is low probability when it is not immediately followed by something that is adequately reinforcing to compensate for the level of effort you had to put forth. Therefore, you are less likely to engage in the behavior you should be doing, like homework, and you are more likely to engage in things that require a low amount of effort and are more highly rewarding, like watching Netflix. Depression Because of what philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche termed the will to power. I know consciously that I should brush my teeth after lunch, but wait until evening just because some part of me seeks fundamental self-expression. In other words, it's not that I want to procrastinate or hurt myself, but rather rebel against the conscious part of me that tells me what to do. I wouldn't be myself, or be able to demonstrate my power, if I didn't do these small, stupid things that sometimes hurt me. Too stressed out and need some relaxed time. It can be done tomorrow.